Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So tomorrow is the first day of fall. And if you've been around for a while, then you know the day before spring and fall of every year for the past three years, I have done a Style Maker Fabrics swatch video, meaning all of the new fabrics that are coming to their shop for the next couple of seasons uh, are here in swatch form and we get to preview them and look at them and well, I get to touch them and describe them to you, but you can also see how they move, how they drape. You get to see kind of a different variation on the color. Um, you get to see um, how they might pair up with each other. It's really, really fun. It's obviously very long. You probably notated the time stamp of this video. So grab a cup of tea, get comfy and, Get ready to take some notes, grab a pen and some paper or your phone, whatever you do, whatever you need. Um, there's gonna be little item numbers on each of these that I'm going to be calling out. And those are what you're going to put into the StyleMaker website to find said fabrics. So we've got two stacks here. She separated them out for us. We've got their, what she's calling basics. And then we've got all of the like, you know, printed fashion fabrics. I mean, these are fashion fabrics too, but these are the more fun versions that would pair up well with this. So I'm gonna review these first quickly, and then I'll refer back to them as we go through this stack, as we can kind of tell things that are gonna pair well together. <clears throat> so that's our game plan. All right, so first up we've got, which, okay, so this is cotton modal jersey. It's gonna be this first little stack and she describes it as two of our favorite fibers mixed with just a little bit of spandex for amazing softness, durability, and great recovery. A little heavier than most jersey knits, it's a must have for stable tees, knit dresses, and more. And yeah, I totally agree with that description. Look at these fun fall colors. Oh my God, I'm so excited for fall. Okay, all right, so describing the, wow, yeah, no, these are, these are exactly how she has described them. What did she say? A little heavier than most Jersey knits. So um, it is cotton and modal Jersey blended together with a little bit of spandex. So I also thought I would grab our stretch ruler from Stitch Buzz. You saw me talk about this a little bit in um, the video last week. So basically you just take a five inch square, which all of these are close to that, and you pull it. So we've only got maybe 40 inches of stretch here. Um, which is great. I love knits that have a little, just like minimal stretch like that. Not minimal, like 10%, but not 100% where it's like, you know, doubling in size. Because these make really great, like she said, t-shirts, knit dresses, absolutely a thousand percent. Um, this is going to be great for all of those wonderful knit t-shirt patterns that came out in the big four this year. Um, yeah, these are great for t-shirts. And I would even wear them over my bum. You know how I get a little bit nervous about, you know, a fabric being too thin over that area. Um, but these all feel really, really great. And I love the colors. Um, so we've got 1409. I'm imagining it's 09 through, oh, sorry, 08 through 12. So 1408 all the way to 14, 14012 are all of these here. Really, really great, really beautiful colors. I love this, like, is this rust? This rusty color. Um, I don't think she gave me the names of the colors on this. Yeah, no, unless they're at the bottom, hold on. Oh yeah, they are. Okay, so we've got cinnamon, moss, teal, navy, and sand. How fun are those colors? Um, beautiful, love those. Okay, so these are the cotton modal jersey knits. And like I said, I'm gonna keep these close by 
in case we see something that would be a great bottom weight and you want a t-shirt to go with it, a Nico top or something. So those are all gonna be right there. Next, we've got these wonderful rib knits. And she describes them as a blend of poly, rayon, and spandex. It is wonderfully soft and drapey with just the right amount of weight. And it is a four by two rib. Meaning it's, you know, not itty bitty ribs. Okay. And then the colors before I forget are um, wine, cinnamon, teal, navy, camel, and sand. So these are gonna be, well, I mentioned Nico tops already. Um, these are gonna be your beautiful, like fitted um, tops. Uh, the Nico top specifically has like a mock turtleneck. This would be great for a bodysuit if you're doing any of those this year. Uh, it makes a beautiful cardigan, you know, all of those really, really awesome things. If you are wanting to make like a riff on a sweatshirt, well not a sweatshirt, on like a, I don't know, I'm gonna say bomber jacket because it's the only thing I think of that has a, a smooth body and then a ribbed cuff and collar band. You know what I mean? If you wanted to do that, you're wondering what the navies look like together. That's them there. Here are the teals together. So they're not exacts. Um, these are probably a little bit more vibrant of a color, um, more color coming through. Not that this is a lighter color necessarily, but it's reading, it's reading that way. Um, this one doesn't really go with anything. Here's the sand ones together and then the cinnamon ones together. So actually these look really close and these look really close. So if you wanted to do a play on smooth and ribbed together somehow, these still look great together. These are a perfect exact match with, with my eye. So that ho hopefully helps you a little bit. Unfortunately, there's nothing to go with the moss. Um, but yeah, they look really, really good together. This is very inspiring. Um, you could do a lot of really fun stuff combining the rib with the, with the smooth, um, cotton modal as well. Okay. Um, I, I every time I do one of these videos, I like tell myself how I'm going to stay organized so that when I'm looking for it later, I'll know exactly where it is. And then I get into it and then I, <laughs> I don't want to be as organized anymore. Okay. Um, this is a fun fabric for the basics pile. This is sequin boucle sweater. That's a fun basic, right? My kind of girl, Michelle, calling boucle sequins a basic. Okay, um, this says one of our favorite, no, a bit of holiday fun early this season. We love the subtle sparkle paired with the unique texture and design, 1000%. There's like a little wave boucle going through. And then the <clears throat> sequins are not all over, they're sporadic, um, which is nice. We've got, let's see, olive, teal, navy, and black. So, if you are wanting to make like a little sweet like cropped jacket that you know boucle is kind of most known for chanel and what they were able to do with boucle in terms of skirts and jackets um you know those slim dresses this does have some stretch to it though so you know it's not going to be suit and it's a little bit actually sheer it's a little opaque um, so keep that in mind. I don't know that you'd want this as a skirt, maybe a lined skirt, but it definitely has some give to it. According to the stretch ruler, it has approximately, um, approximately, let's see, 30% stretch. So keep that in mind. But if you wanted to see these together, um, here are our navies. Here's our teals. You know, if you wanted to make a top and then a cardigan. Um, and then we've seen this already, but in case you just wanted to for reference again. Um, okay, there we go. So there are those basics all 
put together. I kind of feel like I should just leave these out at this point. Um, so yeah, the, obviously those all look really, really great together. If you wanted to just do like a t-shirt with a really fun little cropped cardigan, that would be a super cute idea. Um, they match and it would be like a tonal kind of thing going on. And speaking of a tonal thing, let's go ahead. Here, I'll just move these up like this. Um, we'll look at the next basic, which is a bottom weight corduroy. So she says of the corduroys. Pinwheel, stretch pinwheel corduroy, one of our favorite new bottom weights, 40% stretch, 21 whale, 8.5 ounces per square yard. And if you're making pants, you all of that means something to you. <laughs> okay, so we've got rust, we've got olive, we've got navy, we've got plum, sable is here, and black is here. So you're wondering about our navies. There we go. Those are all of our navies together. If you wanted just like a whole monochromatic look with just the basics, I mean, come on, what's cooler than that? Even look how great these look together. You could have a pant, like a lander pant or something, a Nico top or something, and then like a little cardigan over top. How beautiful is that? This um, rust color, isn't quite where the cinnamons are. It's a little bit more orange. This is reading very like pumpkin-y to me. And this is reading very like warm spice. So like pumpkin spice latte <laughs> or something. I think that these look really good. Like this looks beautiful with this. Um, even this one taking it down even another tone. So if you were gonna do like a monochromatic but a tonal look, maybe these three together would be nice. Um, and then, yeah, the rest are like dark greens. I mean, obviously there's our black, so black on black. This is um, a little bit, this looks a little gray when you put this next to it, which is not a bad thing. Um, so yeah, that's fun with all of those basics. And then the next two basics are denim, or there's three in here. And these are recycled stretch denim. So the denim, this denim takes sustainability to the next level. It blends cotton, poly, and spandex for a soft but durable denim, and all of the poly is sustainably produced from recycled materials like plastic water bottles. It has 20% stretch and is 8.9 ounces per square yard. So relatively lightweight, it does have some stretch to it, and I know I've forgotten to give you guys all these numbers and we'll go over them again. So we've got the, um, where are we? We've got the blue, We've got gray and we've got black. <clears throat> so to help give them their own like life here. Blue, denim, the gray is really nice. And then the black as well. Um, the blue is not a dark wash by any means, um, but it's not a light wash either. It's a good mid wash, I guess. Um, and I love that they're made from plastic water bottles partially. That's fun. Super fun. Okay, the numbers. All right, so the denims are 1401, I'm sorry, I did it wrong again. For 13,999 through 1401. So 13,99 on the gray, 14,000 on the black, and 14,001 on the blue. And then the corduroys, corduroys are as follows. You get all of them. There's a lot of these. I love whenever there's a ton of colors. Okay, so we've got navy is 13973. Black is 13969. The rust is 13971. The sable is 13968. Plum 13970. Sage? No, olive is 13,972. And those are all of our corduroys. All right, gonna keep those close. Perfect, and then our boucle sweater knits. There should be four of them. Black, green, blue, and black, green, blue, and Teal. 
I'm missing. Oh, here's teal. Okay, so we've got 13,686 on teal, 13,687 on black, 13,685 on olive, and 13,688 on the navy. <clears throat> okay, and then we've got, I think we went over the rib knit numbers, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, so here's all of our rib knits. The wine is 14.021, the teal is 14.020, sand 14.022, camel 14.019, Sand, no. This is camel. 14023 is camel. This one is called cinnamon. 14019. And navy is 14018. Okay. First part down. And like I said, I'm leaving all of these within arm's reach so that I can find them quickly when we go into the fun part. Okay, so this is all of our fancy fashion fabric. The one with all the, oh, the one with all the prints, the one with all the good stuff. Um, I mean, the basics are great. And a lot of you make wonderful things out of just the solid colors, but this is where my heart really flutters. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I'm gonna jump right in. We've got Stripe Jersey French Terry and Rose Vanilla. So the Jersey French Terry is something I feel like Style Maker Fabrics is one of the few people who's doing this. So it's a French Terry, like you know, but it's made um, with Jersey. So it's softer um, and it's lighter weight. Um, it's really, really beautiful. If you remember that gray and pink cardigan that I made, the pink part was a Jersey French Terry, I believe. Um, okay, the number on this one is 13843. It is wonderfully soft, like very, very, very soft. And like it's described, it's a rose and vanilla. This is more of like a mauve rose and vanilla stripe. I like when the stripes are equal in um, width, like the vanilla is the same width as the rose. I really personally like that. These make beautiful cardigans. Um, and the back is just literally so soft. I mean, the threads are even kind of like shiny. Can y'all see that? Here's where we are on the drape, beautiful drape. See a nice, lovely, soft hand. Those folds that are falling in are just, just really, really, really beautiful. You could also obviously make a top out of this um, and go to town. The closest um, of the solids is this and it's not quite right. So um, I would just make a, you know, a top with self bands. Uh, cuffs and all of that kind of stuff. Really, really, really pretty. Okay, next up we've got a large scale flannel flag shirting in rose and burgundy. This is fun. I, well, I should also say that this burgundy color, wine, whatever you wanna call it, is truly one of my favorite colors in the world. Um, and I always, always end up buying a lot of fabric that has this color in it. I just love it so much. Um, but it's also blended with all of these different variations on gray. I mean, there's a light gray here, mid-tone here, and then kind of like a darker one here as the threads are like woven together for the flannel. 13,942. It is very, very soft. It doesn't say here what it's made from, but it is a shirting, so it's lighter weight. So it's intended to not be like a flannel coat, but more so like a flannel button down. But that certainly would also include dresses. Um, maybe some looser fitting skirts would also be nice or a lightweight jacket if you want. Um, really, really soft, really, really nice. And then wasn't there like a wine something? Yeah, this. Let's see what these look like together. Yeah, this is a little bit more red. So not an exact match there. But how cute would your gray denim be? 
That's pretty. I love that. You want to see the black ones? Here's black. I like the gray better. I think this is a super cute outfit. Super, super cute. Okay. Next up, we've got Romantic Rose Rayon Jersey in black and blush. So the black background, like the dark moody florals is what they're being called, are very, very on trend for this fall. Um, the moody floral is like the new, the new thing. So look for florals with a dark background um, and you'll be right on trend with everything that you see in the stores. But these have some really beautiful flowers on them. The flowers have all kinds of shades of pinks and mauves and stuff like that. It's almost kind of a lot like these colors. Um, not that necessarily these go together, but you know, just to give you an idea. Um, it's very, very soft, very, very lightweight. I mean, this first one was lightweight, but this one is even more so. Can you see how it's falling in on itself tighter um, than this one? The folds in this one are a little bit bigger. Um, very, very soft though. So this is gonna be a very lightweight, probably not suitable for anything on the bottom half. Um, this is just gonna be a really super soft t-shirt. Um, very, very soft, very lightweight, very luxurious feeling. Romantic rose. Okay, next we have stretch suede knit. A suede knit in magenta. This is, now I know she has a couple colors of this, mostly because I know I have one of them. Um, this is coming in at yeah, like a little more than 20% stretch, which is really interesting. So it's gonna give you a little give, um, like a little wearing ease whenever you are wearing it. So obviously suitable for jackets, but you know, you could really make like a really cool dress out of this as well. Um, especially those that are form fitting top to bottom, um, that would be really beautiful. It does have some drape to it though. So if you wanted to make a circle skirt or something like that, it would totally not just stick out straight like some suede that you might know or might have seen before. The stretch is very, very interesting. I like this. And the back is nice and smooth. So if it weren't lined, that would be okay. Um, beautiful, the magenta color is really gorgeous. Cool, I'm gonna keep this to the side as well because it is a solid, so we'll see where that lands. Um, oh, and that was 14097. 14097. All right, now we've got 14071. This is a really pretty vine floral poly crepe in plum. So a little plum background action here. Again, a beautiful floral, similar kind of flowers, I guess. I don't know, do we really care about the flowers? <laughs> um, and yeah, I love this marigold color, which kind of reminds me a lot of this. Oh, how beautiful is that? My heart just like skipped a beat, I think. Um, here is Here it is with the smoother knit as well. I mean, come on, that's a beautiful little accent calling out the the yellows or the, I don't know, cinnamon color from from here. That's really nice. Um, from the, if you wanted a bottom weight as well, this is a little too purple, I think. Um, yeah, you could do something like that, I guess. I don't know, I probably would be more inclined to go back to the, well, here, what is the green? What do the greens look like? Here's a green. That's a cute skirt, skirt and a top, you know, and that's black and that's blue. This is a fun, fun little outfit. I love that. Um, if you wanted to do this, like make it more dressy, yeah, you could totally do that as well if you wanted to add a little sparkle to it. I think this is nice enough to dress up or dress down, or you could have a lot of fun with it and put like the boucle jacket with the denim. How fun is that? So a lot of fun options there. Super cute, love these. Okay, so that's a good one. This is a really good one. Um, 14071. 
on that guy. Here's a really cute one. This is Bulldog Rayon Crepe in Burgundy. So again with the Rayon Crepe, same type of fabric as this. This one has a lot more texture to it. Those Bulldogs are so cute. Oh, um, and you know, another thing to note is this one, well, maybe they have the same amount of drape. This one is slightly opaque. Like I can see my hand through the light, but this one is pretty, pretty much, you can't see through it at all. I mean, a little, little bit, um, but not much at all. And so for obviously for this one, you've got your blacks, which are gonna be really great. Here's what this, yeah, that's still a little too red, um, but you've also got your black denim, your black corduroy, and we have a black boucle, sparkly boucle. So if you wanted to do something that, a little obvious, you know what I mean? But we only have so many colors to work with in this print. So, um, but yeah, really cute. 14072, I'm sure everyone that has a bulldog is like, I must have this fabric. <laughs> I know if it were a Maltese, I would. Um, but Maltese's are never ever printed on anything. I think because they're all white, it's hard for, I don't know. Um, okay, here's a fun one. Okay, this is Distressed E-Cat print, Rayon Chalet in Burgundy. So this is Rayon Chalet, super, super lightweight. I want to say Rayon Chalet is like the woven sister to Jersey. As lightweight and drapey as Jersey is for knits, this is equally lightweight and drapey for wovens. It has a beautiful, soft touch. Um, it feels really, really nice. And I kind of love the ECAP print that's in here. We've got, you know, your burgundies, obviously, but there's almost like a beige and like almost like a light blue and black running through here as well, which is really, really fun. So similar to our bulldog print, you know, you can match all your blacks. I don't think this is gonna go with it. We can try these lighter ones. That looks nice. I don't hate that at all. Um, or the smooth one. So if you wanted to make like a really pretty flowy skirt and then make tops out of this, or if you wanted to make a top out of this and a cardigan from this, I think these look really pretty together. I like that a lot. I mean, obviously, like I said, your black is gonna work really well too. Um, I think for, yeah, nothing came in black except for the bottom weights in this. So you can make a little jacket out of that. Super fun. All right, this one is called, sorry, I'm trying to stay organized, 14071. No, that's not right, 14074. Perfect, I love Rayon Shelly. It's truly one of my favorite fabrics. This is a lighter weight one though, for sure. All right, sticking with the burgundies, we've got a boucle sweater knit in plum slash multi. So this is a boucle. You can see all the little loops on the right side and the loops are what has all the color. So there's like green loops, blue loops, purple, orange. This is like a reddish pink situation. It has a little bit of stretch to it. Um, this would be really pretty, probably over a solid and I'm not, I'm still not loving this. Um, what's in this? I've already got my piles mixed up, you guys. <laughs> I've already got, I'm already unorganized. Oh, that's so frustrating. Um, let's see if we can play around. I mean, navy and burgundy always look really to get good together. That's pretty. What about this teal? Mm, the green is like green, green like almost like lime green. Yeah, I think the navy is probably gonna be your best bet from what we've seen so far. But obviously you don't have to buy a whole outfit. Um, maybe you already have a solid um, top at home that this will go well with. It is really fun though, and the colors in it are really pretty. Very soft. All right, 14096 on that. And then next up, we have a digital print layered floral sweater knit in gray and orchid. 
gray and purple are like my new favorite thing. I don't know when, like, why have we never thought of that? I know gray goes with everything, but honestly, like, it's really, really good. So this one is a, what did you call it? Sweater knit. And it definitely is. It's a lighter weight sweater knit. God, this was make such a cute sweater knit dress. Um, you could even do like, um, none of these were in gray or purple, but this color. Um, you could even do like a skirt from it and then do a top out of this. That plays on that really well. That's pretty. But there's also some blues in here as well. So if you wanted to do the navies, you know, if you wanted to call in the cooler colors, you could definitely call in this for this guy, you know, for this little area. Or if you like the warmer colors, you could go this way as well. Um, but the sweater, it would also just make a really pretty sweater. You know what I mean? Like just a regular old sweater, you know? The bottom weights, I was trying to get this to go with something, but that's just reading a little, I mean, kinda, but I feel like it's clashing with this. Maybe I want to try this. That's kind of cute, you know? This is kind of like reading like a neutral anyways, but obviously you have your navy too, if you wanted to do your navy. That's probably my favorite. You know, cute little pants or a skirt out of this, and then a sweater out of this, or one of those little tie, you know, the sweaters that are like tying at the bottom, or the ones that have that really weird like interlocked thing. This would be perfect for that because it's the right weight. Some of those can, some sweater knits can be so like thick and bulky, and this is not that. This is very, very thin. So that's really good. It's nice. I like this a lot. All right, this is one, three, six, seven, nine. Awesome. And here's something that might actually go with that as well. This is a Heather French Terry, Jersey French Terry in eggplant. So I told you about the Jersey French Terries before, how soft they are. Um, the backing on this one isn't as soft as the striped one, the very first one, but it's still very, very soft. Um, and I was gonna say that this would look really great with this or this <laughs> or the bulldogs you see so there's a lot of fun options with this here and it does for what it's worth it doesn't look terrible um with the sweater knit as well so if you this would be an excellent cardigan um so if you wanted to make a cardigan to go with this for sure this is a little bit lighter the coloring's a little bit different as you can tell so maybe let's remove this but these are very identical and this looks really great over all of that. So if somehow you wanted to incorporate all of those together, that would be really cute. Okay. Um, the number on the Jersey French Terry, the eggplant Jersey French Terry is 13845. So nice, I love these. These Jersey French Terries are awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, next up we've got mini stripe bamboo jersey in plum and charcoal again with a purple and gray <laughs> love the purple and gray so this is the jersey bamboo jersey so even softer i mean it really is kind of like it feels like water just flowing over my hand it's that lightweight um you can see how super drapey it is which is really nice for like a really cute t-shirt, even something with like a little cowl neck situation happening, that would be really great. Um, it's just really nice. And I love the evenly spaced um, stripes too. All right, I think we're gonna, oh, sorry. One, three, nine, nine, three. And I think with that, we are exiting plum land and we are entering what will be rust, terracotta, cinnamon <laughs> land. Okay, so this is a plush sweater knit in the color Rust. Uh, it's really, really nice. The color is beautiful. It's actually not like these other Rusts. I mean, those definitely go together and that would be really, really cute together. They're not exactly the same, but they're like tonal, which I think is actually even more chic and elegant. Um, but this is, this is deep. This is deep and dark. 
um, which is nice. It feels more saturated, you know? Um, and it is very plush. So unlike the other sweater knit, the gray and purple one, where I said it was kind of thin, and it'd be good for those like twisting or tying sweaters, this, um, you could still do that with obviously, but it would just be a little bit more, um, not even, I mean, bulky, yes, but it would just like the folds in the fabric would be a lot more developed. This reminds me a lot of the sweater knit that I used in last year's fall style tour. Do you remember when I did the backless like lace up sweater with the camo skirt? This reminds me a lot of that sweater knit. Okay, um, 14095 on that. And then next up we have Distressed Southwest Rayon Crepe in terracotta and black. And look how good that looks, right? Right? And then you can fancy it up with your sparklies. So, so good. Okay, so this is rayon crepe again. So it's got a little bit of texture, not as much as our bulldogs did, but it still definitely has the crepe texture. Very lightweight for a rayon. Again, these make really great flowy tops, flowy dresses. Um, anything like that. This is 14079. Um, the color, this color too, would also go well with this. See how those are playing off each other? And then you've got this as your bottom, and then your top, and then your cardigan. Cute! This is so fun. I could seriously do this like for days. Okay, next another solid. So this is cotton sateen in the color rust. Cotton sateen is also one of my absolute favorite fabrics. It's one of the first ones that I really, really fell in love with as I was trying to like elevate my knowledge and understanding of fabrics because it is super, super stable, but it has that really pretty sheen to it. And for those of you that were commenting on the black top that I've been wearing in some of my videos lately with the headband, the videos with the headband, a lot of you were asking about that fabric because you liked how shiny it was and that was cotton sateen. So it's cotton, it's easy to work with, but has a little bit of a sheen to it, which really elevates, just elevates your garment. So I love a cotton sateen. This one's called Rust. Um, this makes this look a little orange, but Rust looks great with navy. Rust looks really good with teal, you know? Um, all of these kind of like saturated middle of the paint chip card colors are gonna look really, really good together. The burgundies um, also look really good. Actually, those two things look the best that I've seen so far these two together. So a dress out of this and a little jacket out of that and you are looking fly. Okay, um, and then this is what this looks like together. That's okay too, I guess. What about magenta? Now I'm just having fun. Okay, no. Um, okay, 14093 on this sateen. So nice, so, so, so nice. You can tell it's not nearly as drapey as the other things that we've been looking at, just for reference. But, okay, so, that was that. This is a fall pla plaid flannel shirting in rust and black. So you remember we had our other fall flannel shirting, this guy here, this is its sister. This one feels a little bit more like brushed, like a little softer on, you know, like, I don't know, fuzzier. I don't want to say that, but that is what it feels like. Here it is with the cotton sateen. Here it is with the plush sweater. Um, here it is with this guy kind of calling into those colors a little bit. This I feel like has been a powerhouse. I pulled this out a couple of times already and we're just here in the very beginning. So this one again, just to make it easier on you, 14022. I feel like if you made a cardigan from this, you would literally be wearing it all fall and winter long. It's going with all of these colors so well. Um, but this is a really fun fall outfit, right? I mean, let me think of what we could do with all of these things. <laughs> They're all kind of in the same family. So we've got like two bottom weights and a sweater. So you could do a skirt out of this and then a sweater out of that. 
and then pants out of this and just rotate through. I don't know, that's not a great idea, but it's not terrible either. Um, you could do a shirt out of this and a skirt out of this, you know, like, I don't know, and then do the like the little French top action. Could be cool. 14081 on that. I've got to take a beverage break. Okay, next up. This is, where are we? This is when I start to lose my place. Um, watercolor Rose Rayon Jersey in Rust. Rayon Jersey. So super lightweight, super drapey. Um, you know, this is gonna be the Rayon Chalet of your knits. I personally don't love sewing with super lightweight knits. Uh, I don't really know why. I just think that, I don't know why. I do like sewing with them. It's just like Rayon Chalet where it's kind of like a pain to cut them out. But then once you do that, then the sewing part's pretty easy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call on our favorite little guy here. Actually, this is the first time that I don't like it. I mean, it kinda sorta wants to go over here, but not with this, which is bigger. Instead, I think I might like that better. Yeah. Yeah, I think the warmer tone of that is a little bit better. Maybe even better than that would be this guy or this guy. So again, not an exact match, but it kind of goes. And that's the beauty of these like watercolor type prints is that because so many colors are like blended together in here, it doesn't necessarily have to be an exact match. I mean, this is even teal. So like, why couldn't we accent it with our teal, you know? Or like the boucle, you know? That's fun too. Okay, sorry I was like dogging on rayon jersey <laughs> but yeah super stretchy super soft super lightweight feels great you're gonna love it one four one three five yeah great little t-shirt top knit yeah there's like bottom weights this is a top weight lightweight all right heather french tear heather jersey french terry in tomato so Heather French Terry, we've already had that once. Here's a French, yeah. And was this eggplant? So eggplant and tomato, all the vegetables, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and just wanna try and pair this up if you wanted to. Those look really great together. Yeah, so we've talked about the Heather, um, what is it? Heather Jersey French Terry. That's a mouthful already. So we'll just analyze the color here. This is one, three, eight, four, six. Um, and yeah, perfect. Okay. Next up we've got, this is fun. Um, animal print texture, jacquard shirting and cinnamon. Oh, that is cool. So it's almost like a sweater knit mixed with a crepe, I guess. It doesn't have any stretch to it. So yeah, she's calling it a shirting. In the color cinnamon, it's jacquard. So with jacquard, you can use both sides. You can use, um, I mean, there's really, it's hard to discern a right side and a wrong side. Um, because this is so tonal, it's hard to tell the difference, but basically see this little swatch here is in like the little sweatery fabric on this side, but on this side, it's in like the little crepey woven crinkly fabric. So it would be very, very subtle if you used both sides, but you definitely can. And that's one of the cool features about Jacquard. Okay, so this is called Rust. Um, I'm honestly not sure. I mean, this is just so pretty by itself. I almost don't want to find something that looks good with it. Um, this is just so cool all on its own. And I love that color. It's like not brown, not orange. It's like living somewhere in between. That's really pretty. 14025 on this. Okay, fun. Um, next is 
Autumn Burst Brushed ITY Knit in Rust and Navy. Okay. So, oh, God. Yes, brushed. I'm feeling the brushed. That feels so good. It's so soft. I just want to rub it on my face. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Very, very soft. I love that. And this almost is like tie-dye, at least from the swatch. She's calling it Autumn Burst, which is just really fun. Um, and the blue here is like very, very vibrant. So I'm liking this vibrant navy with it a lot. Um, we've also got our lovely plush sweater knit that is a perfect match, if I do say so myself. We've even got our olives in here. So was there not an olive uh, rib? I guess not. So you've got that that calls into it. You've got this that goes with it. So this is a little powerhouse. We've got the gray, which makes me think of our gray denim. So yeah, ton of fun stuff with the autumn burst. Um, but it is a brushed ITY knit. So I'm thinking what to make. It is pretty thin, um, but you could do a really pretty maxi dress or like a maxi skirt. Um, of course, in addition to your tops and all the things that you would normally make from a lightweight drapey knit. But it's got a little bit, it's hard to explain the difference between the jerseys like this and then this one. It's just a little itty bit more structured. Can y'all tell the difference between the drape in this one and the drape in this one? That's why I would, that's why I would consider making this, um, into something like a full length dress or, or a knee length dress, but something that would go over your bottom half as well. It just has that itty bit more structure that I feel like a fabric needs to cover a bottom half. It's not nearly as structured as um, double brushed poly, but we're in between. You know, this is the Goldilocks of Jersey, rayon jerseys and double brushed poly. This is like the little baby they had in the middle. Okay, number on this is 14013. So, really cool. Um, fall floral textured voile in turmeric. I'm loving all the food references. <laughs> this is really awesome. Um, turmeric is a really beautiful yellowy color, and I know a lot of like. For Asian people, for example, like myself, they're like, don't wear yellow. There's too much yellow in your skin. But I don't know. I feel like turmeric is one of those ones where it kind of is a little bit more flexible than like yellow, yellow. Um, it's also got this really beautiful persimmon. I mean, if we're going, if we're going to go there with the food. Let's go all in, right? Um, I'm loving this color. Obviously, we've got our, um, our sages and our olives. You know, we've got those in there. I wanted to pull out our plush sweater knit to see how well that looked. No, it's a little darker. I mean, it doesn't not go, but it's not perfect, perfect either. Um, I think the brushed one's gonna be too much texture. Yeah, and too dark. This is our cotton sateen. Also nice if you're into like an imperfect kind of situation. Um, we've also got the corduroy. That looks really good together. And then my favorite little, um, yeah, so you could make a little outfit like this, pants top cardigan, or you could do top <laughs> cardigan. And I don't know how you could incorporate this with this because they're both very, very lightweight. Like I wouldn't recommend putting this as a bottom and I wouldn't recommend putting this as a bottom. So it would just be like a smooth cardigan, I guess. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, this is 13995. Okay, here's another one of our suede's. So if you're stretch suede's, this is the one that I got, little hint, hint. Um, this is called Emerald. If you remember, we already have magenta. So here's our emerald, 14099 for what it's worth. Those look spectacular together. 
and this is the bottom weight. You could wear this as a bottom. So bottom, top, cardigan or cardigan, jacket, whatever you want to call it. All right. So we're going to move away from those since we've reviewed that already once. Next, we've got, what is this? This is fall foliage stretch shirting in black and multi. What was tomato? This was tomato. This looked like a tomato to me, which is what made me think of that. Um, so this is a shirting. So I presume it's what well, stretch shirting. So it's got a little bit of stretch to it. Um, it feels like cotton, but don't mark my words on that. Don't hold me to that. Um, it's got a black background and instead of flowers, it's got foliage. So you're gonna have more twigs and leaves and berries and stuff like that, which is really fun. Um, again, we've got this purpley blue color, which is just so fun. Um, and then like our yellowy, orangey vibe. Yeah, and then, well, I don't know about this light of a green, but yeah, that looks really nice together. And it's a shirting, so you know it's really gonna hold up. So you could also do like a whole dress out of shirting fabric, you know, and then this is the teal, but look how good the teal looks. So anything from sage to olive to teal are all gonna look good with this. There's the olive. Well, maybe I misspoke. Maybe teal is the more teal and sage, really. All right. So one, three, one, three, six, eight, three. Whew. Okay. This is variegated plaid flannel shirting in teal and mustard. So variegated meaning these stripes are narrower than these stripes. And actually in this application, I actually do like the variegation. Variegation? Um, is that a word? Um, this is a shirting, right? Yeah, so I mean, this is an exact match, 100% exact. Um, and then your navies, and then these, this little mustard, mm, not quite. I also don't like the rib with the flannel either. So maybe the smoother one. Yeah, that looks a little bit better on the, easier on the eye. Um, but there's also this like purpley color here, which makes me think of this. Those are pretty together. It's like all the jewel tones, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but so this is a shirting. So like I said, like I have said before, you can make a dress. Oh, it's so soft. These um, flannel shirtings that she's gotten, we've seen three of them so far. They are seriously all so soft, so nice, so warm. Oh, who doesn't wanna wear one of these, right? So obviously button down shirts, you know, but you could make like a really cool, cute uh, flannel dress. You could do pajamas. That would be some very, very posh pajamas, but you could do it. You could do it for sure. All right, um, so, okay. So next up, here's another stretch suede. This one's in turquoise. So here's our little collection so far. Turquoise is pretty, and I'm sorry that my table is basically the same color. Hold on. Let's see if I can't help y'all out a little bit. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? This is like ocean blue. It's really, really pretty. And I was just noticing very, very close. It's like in between these with the stretch suede, but that's beautiful. Look how it like the sheen on it is really coming through more so than the more uh, deeper colors. I love that. This is 14100. Keep that close. This looks familiar, right? This is like the very first one I showed you. This is the Stripe Jersey French Terry in teal and vanilla. So we've got rose and vanilla and teal and vanilla. And as you can imagine, our teal goes with this. We didn't have a corduroy and teal, did we? No, but we've got navy. We've got denim. I actually like the navy corduroy better. Um, and then if you wanted to do a t-shirt and then a cardigan, 
this is your t-shirt and this is your cardigan it's reading a little bit more green actually in the stripe I don't love these together and the rib is going to be too much like the stripe probably yeah no I like the boucle a lot sweater and then a cardigan for sure and then here's your pants or your skirt or whatever that's cute okay 13844 four. so soft so soft so drapey but it got but it's got some heft to it too because it's the jersey you, I mean because it's the French terry these are really cool the jersey French terries are awesome awesome all right, next up, we've got mini striped bamboo jersey in teal and charcoal. And this is just like that other one, um, the purple and gray. Now we've got teal and charcoal. So again, with all of our teals, let's see. No, I know I don't like that already. No, not quite white right so this would just be a shirt all on its own that's fine that's fine it doesn't actually have to match everything these are so nice though uh one three nine nine two so soft so smooth you know like very very smooth okay look how pretty this one is this is spring rayon poly crepe so rayon and polyester crepe it's not nearly as crepey um in terms of texture like it's actually rather smooth one four zero six eight yeah that's the right one but it's got like a little bit of weight to it like if you remember our rayon chalet i don't even remember which one it was at this point um and how lightweight and drapey that was was this it no that's crepe too um this has a little bit more weight to it which is really nice so if you're making like something i don't know with like voluminous sleeves or a voluminous skirt this is gonna you know pull slightly i'm not talking like extremes here but this is going to pull a little bit more away from the body than the chalets would and i just love the coloring of it so much that background is like very striking and of course it matches our favorite new cardigan I mean is everyone gonna have a cardigan out of this color now or what <laughs> like it's perfect um, but this is a beautiful beautiful fabric I love this I would buy this right now like sign me up I need to add to cart like here <laughs> um, I love this this is really really nice it just, it's like got an interesting hand feel. You know, it's very smooth for a crepe, but you can actually feel the weight to it, which is so interesting for a lightweight drapey fabric, you know? That is really fun and interesting. Okay, 14068 on this guy. Love her, love her. I think that's like magenta in there. So if I really wanted to go crazy, I could do something like that. I don't hate it. Okay, this is, uh-oh, this is a pencil stripe cotton jersey and denim and cream. So here's where the stripes aren't equal in width. And to me, it just makes a big difference. I don't know, I feel like one is just more interesting. This is more interesting than, than this one is. I don't not like this, but I don't know, this just feels it's just more pleasing to my eye it's just as basic as that uh so this is cotton jersey so remember those rayon jerseys we've had that are like basically like water like this one um here's what happens when you do it in cotton much more structure much more um and not as much stretch either like the stretch on a rayon is gonna be like a lot hold on see how that stretches I'm losing my sticker um but the cotton is like half that so but I do like the denim and the cream together a lot I think that's really fun take you know chambray is like 
we've all been through the chambray phase by now. Um, so this is kind of like an elevated take on the chambray for sure. It's still very soft, but not nearly as soft as the rayon, but you, you compromise some of the softness for the structure. So yeah, perfect little t-shirt dress right here. One, two, seven, three, four on this guy. And then it's like mini me <laughs> is the tiny stripe cotton, tiny stripe cotton jersey in denim and cream. So we've got pencil stripe and then tiny stripe. That's confusing. Um, but here they are. They're kind of cool together. I don't know. What do you guys think about like blocking these into two? I don't know. I don't know how you would do it or what you would do, but they're the exact same colors. So I'm thinking something. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all think of any ideas that you could use both of these for in one project. One, two, seven, three, five. Same fabric, just smaller stripes. Okay. Oh, look how cool this one is. This is scrolling paisy, paisley, scrolling paisley rayon crepe and denim and rust so they have this place here called is it smoky joe's something joe's and they do free line dancing classes on wednesdays and you guys honestly it is so much fun um and this reminds me of something that i would make to wear there right isn't it just perfect for line dancing but i think it's also really perfect for just it's not that western Maybe a little bit. So this is the same orange, uh, maybe even the same camel. Mm, not quite. And that might, this might take you too far into Western, Western land. Um, but yeah, it is really cool. And it has this really pretty like aqua color in there, which makes me think of this. That's pretty. Super fun. Okay, so the fabric itself is a rayon crepe. So it's got the crepey texture to it. It's got the lightweight rayon. It's got the drapiness of rayon. Um, hopefully you guys are kind of, you know, picking up on these attributes of these fabrics as I'm talking about them. This one feels like so lightweight. It, it's like the lightest one, I think, that we've had so far. Um, but it is a woven. So keep that in mind, but yeah, super cute twi uh, tie front top, or even, I mean, like if it's gonna look Western, then go with it, you know, and do a necktie top, right? Here's what it looks like with our blue denim. It's very similar, so I don't know about that, um, but like, I don't know. I don't really know about that either. I like this. I think that's fun. Okay, so this is one, three, eight, three, four. Super cool. Here's one that my friend Amber will like. This is floral geometric rayon crepe. Rayon crepe. So again, the same as this one was, but this one is so lightweight. This one feels more like what I'm used to. This one feels like like tissue paper. This one feels like nothing. Um, this has a little bit more weight to it, like I said, like I'm used to. Um, and it's got this beautiful royal blue background, black accents, so all of our black solids we've already been over would look great with that. But then it's also got this little aqua color in there. It's more blue. It's more like baby blue. So if you've got anything like that, that would look really good. And then white. We haven't actually seen a lot of white in this collection. There's been a lot of creams and stuff like that, but not a lot of white. So that one's really nice and fun. It is super soft, um, no stretch, but one, three, eight, three, five. Beautiful. That's gonna make a really, really nice top or dress. The weight of it is really good. Okay, next up we have large gingham check flannel shirting and navy and white so we've been over the flannel shirtings three or four times now um same thing this is just 
navy and white large scale gingham, which I mean, who doesn't love gingham? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> um, and the large scale is really cool too. For me, when I'm when I see things that are large scale, I think of a large scale garment like a dress more so than a top, but you could certainly make really, really great tops. And there's a lot of ready to wear inspiration out there. If you just type in gingham, flannel gingham top, flannel gingham dress, you would pull up some options to help you um, see what you could make with something like this. 14083, but yeah, this would make really cute chic pajamas. That's for sure. Um, super good, okay. This is Garden Roses Rayon Crepe in Navy. Remember I was telling you about the dark backgrounds for the florals, the moody florals. And again, with kind of like the painterly aspect of this, you have a lot of different colors kind of blended in together. Um, just because I've made such a big fuss about it now, <laughs> here it is with our little cardigan that we're all gonna make. Um, but it's got these beautiful like pinks and roses and stuff like that in there too, which is really nice. If you guys like pattern mixing, um, I was going to try and pull out that rose French cherry. Oh, see what I mean? I try and stay organized. Oh, here it is. And then I can't just to see, uh, it might be too. Yeah. If it didn't have the cream background, maybe, but this I think would well, actually, I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, yeah, I think that that would work. You know, a little drapey top out of this and a cardigan out of this. That feels right to me. Hmm. Um, here it is with the sage knit. Also really good. So like a flowy skirt and a top. Um no to all of those this is yeah no yeah I like this a lot a lot here it is with the sage bottom weight also really nice um sorry if I'm shaking the camera I can't tell I just had to readjust I've been sitting like sitting still are you all let's all readjust let's all take a moment um yeah this is I think the navy background is what is going to make this such a powerhouse because navy is a neutral, in my opinion. And so it's gonna go with a lot of things, but I really, really like this green a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Um, there, if you wanted a little bit of contrast between your cardigan and your pants or skirt or whatever it is that you would make out of that. So yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one that I feel like would get worn a lot. 14076. Lightweight, drapey, crepey. <laughs> drapey, crepey. Um, it's got a little bit, the crepe is a little bit more weighty. Um, honestly, like nothing is as lightweight as that Western one. That was like a whole new experience for me. Um, but yeah, beautiful drapey tops drapey dresses, anything with like a flounce or a ruffle or anything like that would be really, really pretty. Okay, this one's fun. This is wide metallic stripe rayon jersey in oatmeal navy and gold. And the gold is actually glittery, um, which is really, really awesome. Um, we have our, oh, it's navy. It's navy, not black. So we have, if you wanted to like really go all in on the sparkle, um, why not pair it with the navy boucle sparkle knit? That's fun. Um, this is, what do we say? Rayon jersey? It's rayon jersey for sure, but the gold stripe does give it a little bit more like meat. Um, it's not, I mean, is what am I trying to say? Those gray parts are definitely lightweight and drapey, but the gold running through these threads here do make it a little bit more structured. Um, not that I'd be making anything bottom heavy, bottom weight um, out of this anyways, but for your tops, like if you go to try and do something a little drapier, I feel like the gold metallic stripes are going to keep it from being like full on waterfall drape, you know? Does that make into that, any of that make sense? It made sense in my head. Um, here's it is with our gray 
denim. That's a super cute outfit, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I was gonna pull out the black denim, but no, this is this is it. This is the winner. How cute! It's like nautical, but sparkly nautical. It's like nautical night out. <laughs> Oh, I crack myself up. Yeah. Yeah. It's nautical night out for sure. Okay. This one is 14110. This is nice. I feel like this one is going, just seeing it, people are going to fall in love with it because it is, you know, so fun and interesting. But it's, it's, I'm backing it up. It's got some really nice, um, a nice feel to it. This, the metal part is a little on the scratchy side on the, on the right side, but on the back side, not so much, not so much at all. So that's interesting. Um, let's see what happens when you do this. You s separate all the metal. Yeah, it still has good recovery. So yeah, this is good. This is good, okay. Ooh, this one's pretty too. This one is uh, floral outline rayon crepe in blue and rose. And again, it must be that navy background but it's got the gray, so I'm wanting to pull this out. Um, and then it's also got all of these really pretty pinks and I mean, it's kind of, I mean, this is gonna be too bright, yeah. It's a little bit more muted than magenta, um, but really, really pretty pink colors in here with the gray, with the navy background. I mean, yeah, that's fun. So you could get um, these two and then this and the nautical night out and you have a woven version and a knit version that you can interchange to make a little capsule situation happen. These feel very different. I feel like you could wear these, this outfit one day and then this outfit another day and people wouldn't really put two and two together that it's basically the same clothes, so. Um, yeah, this is fun. Okay, so this is, what did I say? Rayon crepe? It's rayon crepe, but it's not nearly as soft as the other ones. Um, it's definitely, well, it's smooth, but not soft. Gosh, does that make sense? The other ones are like, well, I don't know. Now that I'm feeling this one, it's not super smooth either or super soft. Yeah, it's just definitely got, maybe the crepiness of it is a little bit more tighter. And so it's coming off as less smooth. Also way less drapey. I mean, right? Yeah, way less drapey. So definitely keep that in mind for this guy. I mean, Gosh, now I'm trying to think like, you need to find a pattern that is intended for lightweight drapey wovens, but it can't be too voluminous. The more voluminous it is, the more it'll just be like, you know, floating away from you. I think even like a flutter sleeve, like if this were my shoulder, I'm trying to see how a flutter sleeve would be. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely gonna float away from the body a little bit, which is kind of nice, you know? I don't definitely don't hate that. Yeah, this would make a really great dress, more so than the other ones. I mean, the other ones make great, great dresses too, but this would really hold up well. You'd have to interline it or line it, I think. Well, maybe not. I mean, it is it is, you can see the light through it, but past that, not really anything else, even in the lighter parts. I mean, I can see the yellow stripe of my mat here, but huh, that's interesting texture, interesting weight. Okay, this one is, oh no, it's not numbered. This one is 13837. 13837 on this. I lost the sticker somehow. I was being very aggressive, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, this one is Distressed Print Ponty in Indigo. So it is navy, not black. 
it's a ponty knit, which we know and love. And it's got this really cool, like, graffiti, grunge kind of vibe going. I love a ponty knit dress. This one is kind of on the heavier side of lightweight. It's not midweight, but it's not lightweight either. It's like in between those two. You can see the drape here. It definitely still has drape for a ponty. This has got some drape to it, believe it or not. I've had some ponties that just stand like this. <laughs> Um, so it's got a little bit of drape to it. I just, I don't know. I kind of dig the like grungy look for sure, but it is, it, it's coming across more black, but I guess it's just a very, very, very dark navy. So, and Ponty Knit, of course, is so soft, you know, in the scuba family, one, three, nine, eight, six. That's fun, right? That's a lot of fun. Okay, next up we've got Texture Stripe Rigid Denim. Yeah, it is definitely textured. Um, this stripe is woven in, that's cool. It's kind of giving me like railroad denim. You know what that is, right? The, with the blue and cream stripes. It's giving me railroad denim vibes. Um, it doesn't have hardly any stretch in it at all, either direction. And then on the bias, we've got only like the littlest bit. So keep that in mind. But if you make pencil pants, <laughs> does anybody remember whenever I coined the term pencil pants? There's pencil skirts and then there's cigarette pants. And like, I don't want to promote smoking. So I'm calling slim fitting pants pencil pants was basically the background of that. But if you're gonna make pencil pants, this would be a good one. Um, this would be great for a blazer. Oh, a blazer from this would be spectacular. It's got just the right amount of everything. Um, not necessarily, a, I mean, a jean jacket would be okay too, but a blazer would be like, you know, it's like the juxtaposition of denim and workwear like blended together, you know, like rugged, but professional. It's like confusing, like people don't know, are you professional or are you rugged? And you're like, does it matter? No, because I have this awesome blazer. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, one, four, one, two, three. I love this denim, this is so fun. So, so fun. Okay, next up, guys, we are like not even halfway not even halfway my goodness okay I'm gonna have to take a break for lunch or something um but I'll get through this one this is layered geometric sweater knit in blue and black I mean how pretty is this color I don't know what color that is she's calling it blue to me it's like some hybrid of blue and purple but you've got your black you've got your gray and it's a texture stripe. I don't even know. No, no. It's layered geometric. That's what she's calling it. Layered geometric. So I guess it's just all these really big funky shapes. That is so interesting to me. This feels very like ready to wear, like Ann Taylor Loft, right? Can you see a sweater knit dress out of this? It is pretty lightweight. It's very soft. It's got a beautiful drape to it. Um, pretty stretchy, but yeah, the print is very striking. Very, very striking. So soft on the back. 14027 is this guy. So good. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I mean, it's not blue like navy. It's like some other kind of blue, but... Yeah, I mean, kind of basic on the colors, so I don't have to elaborate on, on mixing but um, or matching. But yeah, I like this. I wish I could see more of it. Maybe she'll have a bigger thing on the website. I'm sure she will um, on the website. If you type in 14027, you can probably see a bigger swatch of it. These are all, what, five by, no, six by six. And I always get questions too. Um, when you buy swatches from her, they come this size. This is not just for me. This is like 
standard swatch size for style maker fabrics, which is great. Um, they, they supply really, really large um, swatches. So that's awesome. Okay, so moving right along, we are on Vintage Floral Rayon Jersey in Cream and Mauve. Beautiful. So yeah, we've got the cream background. We've even got a little bit of gray for our denim. How pretty. Oh, gray and cream is like stunning. Um, and then you've got these like brown pinks and then you've got purpley pinks. You've also got your cinnamony colors going. Um, and then this I think is black. It doesn't say, but I think that that's black. This might be a little too heavy. Um, not the fabric, the color. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Right? That looks so good. What a pretty outfit. So good. Um, this fabric is rayon jersey. So we've talked a lot about rayon jersey this video. Lightweight, drapey, super soft, just like the others. Um, yeah, really nice little top weight uh, jersey knit. One, three, four, six, nine. So pretty, I love it. I love the gray and cream together so much. All right, this one is Sketch Rose Rayon Chalet in black and cinnamon. That's fun. I'm getting like African stamping. Is that, is that what that is? Um, and then we've got our cinnamon color. So obviously this, yep. Um, but even this, well, this is a little more, this might be white. Um, and then this. So this is Rayon Chalet. So this is the woven version of Rayon Jersey that we just looked at. It's woven, so no stretch. Lightweight, drapey, great for tops. I've made dresses, maxi dresses, regular dresses, um, all of that. Um, Rayon Chalet is really relatively easy to sew with. I feel like you get a lot of payoff for a little bit more work than cotton. Um, the drapiness of it um, just really, really pays off. This colorway I feel like is very, very strong, you know, even though it has flowers on it and stuff like that, I'm feeling like powerful looking at it. <laughs> um, and it does just match this perfectly. So that's always a bonus. All right, one, four, zero, zero, three on this guy. So soft. All right, I cannot believe it's taken almost an hour and we're just at our first animal print. Um, animal print is like all the rage this fall. It is everywhere. So I'm so glad to see one here. This is Leopard Plush Double Knit. Uh, double Knit is actually two knit fabrics sandwiched together and then stitched every so often to create one double thickness fabric. So one fabric is this, the other fabric is that, and they have been, maybe they're even like not stitched. No, they're stitched, you can see. Like right there, 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 there. I think that's what that is, maybe not. I guess they could also be like I don't know, glued? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel like anything's been glued. It feels super soft. Like the, this backing, this nylon backing is really, really nice. And even the front is like brushed and soft and beautiful. Um, it Because there are two layers, it does tend to be a little bit more structured, a little bit more heavyweight. Um, but that makes for a beautiful sweater, a beautiful dress, a beautiful skirt. Um, you can make a lot, a lot of things out of this. Uh, this is one, three, nine, seven, eight. Leopard plush double knit. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Everyone needs a animal print sweater because you can like put it with your black denim and have like a super cute outfit. 
You wanna put it with your sparkly boucle? Go for it. So fun. Okay. Oh, look at this, classic. This is houndstooth plaid stretch bottom weight in camel and rust. So, clearly a suit. Uh, it's a bottom weight, so pencil pants would be another good one. Pencil skirt would be great. It's very structured. So this is one of the ones I was telling you that just <laughs> folds in half. <laughs> There's like no drape to it at all. Um, but it does have that great stretch quality that makes fitting a little bit easier. But you definitely could make a uh, blazer out of this as well to match your pants. And did we not have any blacks in the... Darn. Okay, so then you could make this or this, right? One of these, probably this one. Um, you could make a lovely like fitted top to go underneath your blazer. And then you wear your blazer with your jeans or your black jeans, even more so. Sorry, I'm just kind of throwing this together as I go. Um, your black corduroy skirt, you know? throw your blazer on with that. So cute. Um, or also make the pencil pants. And then now you have a suit that you can wear all of that with. And then throw in a black t-shirt another day, you know, that you've made from somewhere else or that you bought. Um, this is really good. And I think, I, I think I, I think someone is making this on tour. So I cannot wait to see how it turns out. This is nice. This definitely did not stand out to me in the photos as much as it is in person. I hope that's not happening for you guys as well. But this is a good, weighty, nice stretch bottom weight. And I love the hound's tooth. So classic, so fall, perfect. 14085 on this, love this. Oh, I wish. I could make pencil pants. I mean, I can, but I wish that I liked the way that they fit me after I made them. <laughs> um, for what it's worth, also those like fitted dresses, this would be really great out of that too. This is good. Okay, next up, layered spots, animal print sweater knit. So here's our second animal print. It is lightweight, sweater knit. It doesn't say the content, whether it's rayon or what, but it's very lightweight, very drapey. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit see-through, but not much. Um, and then it's got the black, the taupe, and uh, I don't know what color that is. Those match almost exactly. That's fun. And then your gray denim, cute. So t-shirt, cardigan, jeans. Or I guess if you wanted to do that, that, these black jeans would work too. That's a little too heavy, I think. I like either of these best. Um, but yeah, you could also just make an actual sweater out of this and then wear it with your new jeans or skirt or whatever bottom you choose. So nice. It's very soft. It's actually softer on the right side than the wrong side, but the wrong side's still super soft too. 14031. Very lightweight. Very drapey. All right. Next, we've got leopard animal print. Oh gosh. Rayon jersey in amber. So this amber color is like this little burnt out color in the background kind of. Um, but honestly, <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. She's gonna pull out that rib knit. And I am because look, that's right there. It's all of that in there. And then you have your black. So if you wanna do something like this, so many fun options. I love that it's black and cream, but then it's got this like I don't know, this like sensual moody thing happening in the back. Um, it is rayon jersey, so lightweight, drapey. It's a nice feeling rayon jersey, not 
not too paper thin. Sometimes the weave on um, jersey knits can be a little bit looser. And so when you stretch it out, you can like completely see through it. This doesn't seem to be the case. This, I mean, certainly that happens a little bit, but not nearly as much as some others that I've seen. So yeah, and the drape is just really nice. This is just gonna be so soft and lovely to wear on your body. <laughs> okay, one, three, nine, nine, six. Next we have chain collage rayon twill shirting. Okay, so this is our first rayon twill. Twill is the same weave as denim, uh, diagonal weave. Uh, so imagine blending rayon chalet, which is like super lightweight woven with denim you have like a they had a baby um and they come up with this so it is rayon it is very very soft but it's got a lot more structure to it can you guys see that so this is going to be a stunning like you are going to look like a million freaking dollars when you make this into a dress it's going to make a beautiful like cuffed button down collared shirt like beautiful um something about this chain collage feels very gucci feels very chanel feels very i don't know luxurious this just feels like money to me like I'm so rich <laughs> when I wear this top. Oh my God, I hope you guys are laughing. Um, <laughs> I don't know, the print is just awesome. But it's got like some animal print in it. It got some more here. There's like a snake skin happening. This is wild, but I am here for it. I love it a lot. I can also see this as a waistbanded circle skirt. Do you know what I mean? Like a circle skirt, but something to anchor it to your body. Cause this is, this is not heavy, but serious. You know what I mean? Um, so you want to give it, it's like elastic isn't going to cut it. Like you need a waistband, like a proper waistband with belt carriers and everything. So cool. I love this. <laughs> I really love this. This is good. Okay. One, three, nine, eight, seven on that guy. So good. And I'm not even gonna pair it with anything because it just deserves to live all by itself. So there, take that. All right, this is layered animal print rayon chalet in brown. Beautiful. So I guess these are different kinds of animals um, printed together. And we've got the uh, rayon chalet. So this is the lighter, the lighter weave of the one we just saw, but it's actually a pretty substantial rayon chalet. So I wish, let me take a second to find that other rayon chalet. Hold on. Just cause I wanna show you guys the difference. Was it this one? Well, what was the number? That'd be easier, 14003. Yeah, this is rayon chalet and so is this. And the one on this hand, you can tell, does it has more structure. This is folding in on itself on the sides more, and this is kind of sticking straight out. So I actually really like the, that quality of a rayon chalet for reference. If you guys, did I already lose that one? If you guys want to see how these two compare, just because we've been talking about this a bunch. So you can see kind of where they where they live. They're different weaves, but similar in structure. I feel like this one's heavier than this one is because this one is woven tighter. So there's more threads per square inch than on this one. All that to say, this is a really great rayon chalet. Great quality. I personally love a more structured rayon chalet. Unfortunately, it's impossible to tell when you're shopping online they don't put the weights like they do for denims. So it's kind of a crap shoot, unless obviously we're doing something like this or you've heard from somebody that it's 
a more um, structured or heavier weight rayon chalet, but that's what I prefer. Um, I ordered some of this before I even saw it, actually, and now I'm even happier than I was originally. I have a really fun, I think it's this, I don't know, some animal print, um, a really fun project planned uh, kind of knocking off ready to wear. Um, because like I said, ready to wear, the animal print is everywhere this season. You guys, if you don't get anything else in this collection, you must get animal print because you're gonna see it all over the place. And it really is like a neutral. You can wear it with anything. So um, yeah, this is a really good one. This is 14080. So fun. And I like the two textures. I like the two different size spots. Okay, who remembers this? This is just like that other one we did, what feels like 14 hours ago. Out of, was this called Rust or something? And now this one is Cinnamon. This is the Animal Print Jacquard Shirting in Cinnamon. So there you have those. Remember I was telling you about how this like, you can use both sides. They're like the exact reverse of each other. So that's super fun. I really kind of feel like these two kind of go together also. Like that'd be a fun color blocking moment. Why not? 14024 on the cinnamon. All right, now we have vine, floral, poly crepe, and turmeric and berry. And if I didn't love this one enough, this, I love this one more. Like if I had to choose between the two turmerics, that I think that might be it, just two. Um, I'm gonna pick this one. I love this berry color, I've told you already, but also has purple in it, which is spectacular. And that's such a fun twist. Um, here's with our little cardigan, so cute. This is the teal cardigan, which is kind of like knocking off some of these greens. I mean, heck, why not a navy cardigan? Turmeric and navy go great together and just for fun because We've made a whole theme of it. That's what that one looks like. So you can see this one, this has a lot of versatility and then you put it with your blue jeans and you've got a super cute, sweet little outfit. This is gonna make a spectacular dress with like lots and lots of ruffles, right? Don't you just see a ton of ruffles and like just ruffles everywhere. <laughs> ruffles and flounces galore. This is really nice. Okay, so this is, what was it? Poly crepe? So it's actually got a pretty smooth hand considering it's crepe. It's it's much softer. Remember that one that I was saying felt like rougher? This is much softer than that. Um, and it's got drape, but good drape, you know? And it feels a little bit weightier too. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it just feels really, really good. Like it's gonna hold up to whatever you do to it. Some of these, it feels like, you know, you put a pin through it and you're not quite sure if it's going to hold up to that. But this, this will, this feels silky. This feels silky, but strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm, I'm liking this one a lot. 14065, so good. So good, I love that. Let's keep this close in case we come up with some other fun things to do with it. Okay, next up is, okay, so we've got, I'm gonna just do these two at once. Two pencil stripe cotton jerseys, one in cream gray and one in gray cream. How are they ever gonna keep those straight whenever <laughs> they're ordering them. So they're the same as this, um, just in the gray and cream family. So good. Classic, basic, wear it whenever you don't feel like putting together an outfit and just throw this on. Great turtleneck, oh my God, I want a turtleneck out of this or this. Um, you could also combine them and do like raglan sleeve something, you know? That would be really cool. Yeah, awesome, love these. Okay, so, oh Lord. Okay, so three, two is cream gray. 
So I guess the dominant color first. And then one, two, seven, three, three is gray cream. Cream gray, gray cream. One, two, seven, three, two on cream gray, and one, two, seven, three, three on gray cream. See, I've got it now. I could work at Style Maker Fabrics. Call me. Um, next up is Butterfly Jacquard Novelty Knit. <gasps> so cute. Oh my God, look, it's butterflies. I love butterflies. Might I just point out my bracelet that I wear every day? Oh, it is Jacquard. Where are we? I lost my place. Novelty knit. Um, so the backside isn't reversible because it's like a double knit. It's a double something, see? I'll just ruin this one. Anyways, you can see there's like a netting on the back. Maybe because it's too fragile by itself. You want me to just tear this up <laughs> so we can learn? In the vein of, uh, yeah of education is what I was about to say. But yeah, all this in the middle is like just basically strings and threads. So they had to put something on the back side, like a netting to hold it all together. So this is a novelty knit, which is just like its own category. Um, but it is like, what would you make out of this? Okay, so you'd make a little jacket. You could make a, like I'm thinking jacket wise, like open, not like no buttons, um, very simple. Cause this fabric really kind of needs to just shine. Yeah, I mean, it does have a little bit of stretch to it. So you could make a top, you could make a dress, but it is pretty see-through. So you'd have to line it with something. I don't know, my best bet would just be like an open front jacket, almost like a cardigan. Carded cat, <laughs> cardicat, <laughs> a cardicat. I love butterflies though. I would buy all the fabrics with butterflies. One, three, four, five, four. Next, we have double face jersey knit stripe in gray and cream. So double face is the same as double knit, I guess. Um, again, you can see how they're like stitched together. Two layers of knit fabric stitched together. Oh, this feels good. Okay, so this has a very soft hand feel. It's got stretch, but it also recovers. It goes right back. Like you stretch it out and then it comes right back. If we want to test this on our stretch ruler, um, this is stretching to about 50% and then you let go and it goes right back to where it came from. So that's a good quality. Uh, but yeah, just mostly so soft, like even the backside with this whatever fabric that is, it's really, really soft. And you know, the variegated stripes is also really nice. Um, one, three, eight, four, one on this guy and more grays and creams, grays and creams, creams and grays. This is kind of heathered. Well, this is too. Maybe more heathered? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, take a look at this. Look at those vibrant colors. This is digital print, which is how they're able to get the colors so bold. Um, digital print, bold floral sweater knit in gray and jewel. Gray and jewel, so. Maybe jewel just alludes to like all of the jewel tones, but I'm seeing this olive here. So it makes me want to get this guy out. Obviously there's blues and navies, so you can get this guy out. We can get our denim, our gray denim out. That looks good. Um, even our orange corduroy looks really good. The heathered background is really, really nice. I like that a lot. Um, oops. The fabric itself, floral sweater knit is all I'm getting on the description. So it's stretchy, obviously. It is soft. I mean, everything from, they'd only buy soft fabrics. So 
Um, yeah, it feels really good on your hand, on your body. Um, the drape of it is like pretty hefty, you know, for a sweater knit. So I like that. I just, the digital printing is really the standout of this because the colors are so vibrant, you know, and it's not woven in. Do you understand the difference? Like it's printed on. Um, so for example, like this is a sweater knit and you can see the back side all woven through, but on this one, you can't see it at all because it's just printed on. And that's how you're able to get those colors just to like, just, it's like popping off the background, which is so cool. All right, 13680 on this guy. All right, now we've got a brushed herringbone suiting in gray. Yeah, brushed is very nice. No stretch to it, unlike the uh, other herringbone, this one here. You know? Um, but super soft because it's brushed. You know, great blazers, great skirts, great suits, great all of that. 14088. I mean, it's a little on the basic side. Not much really to say about it. Beautiful gray. All right. Here is a snow leopard animal print, Rayon Shally. That's fun. So if you like animal print, but you don't favor like the browns and topes and camels, here's a black, white, and gray version. Something for everybody. So this is a Rayon Shally. This actually feels just like the other one. Was it this? No. Oh boy. I got a little pile. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. These feel the same. So even better. So make one of each, right? I mean, you have your gray days and you have your brown days. <laughs> Snow leopard. That's fun. One, three, nine, four, three on this. Okay. This is brushed herringbone. No. Brushed pin herringbone, stretch, bottom weight, gray. So brushed pin herringbone, kind of like a pin stripe. It's like super, super small. Uh, stretch, bottom weight. Okay, it does have a little bit of stretch. This has more stretch than that. Yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Um. The brush quality is so nice. I can't tell you guys how good this feels. Super, super soft. There's no drape to it or anything, obviously, but this would make great, not necessarily, I mean, pencil pants, sure, but you, I think you could do a bit of a stovepipe leg and get away with it with this as well. Also a great blazer, super good blazer. Super great skirt. Even slightly A-line, I think would work or at least one that just follows the hip line. Yeah, this one's good too. 14092 on that. This one is houndstooth plaid suiting in gray and burgundy. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so it's very lightweight, lighter weight than this even. And look, it's even got some drape to it. You guys make a dress out of this suiting for sure. This is like Ann Taylor. This is Banana Republic, you know, that kind of thing happening. Yeah, this is really good. And the burgundy is very subtle. It's like one itty bitty pinstripe through the whole thing, but it feels so soft and it's got some drape to it, which is really fun for a suiting lightweight suiting. That's nice. 14091. Yeah, that's good. I think this is too purple. Yeah. But black would look good. Oh my god, spectacular. This in a jacket with this as pants. Come on. Unstoppable. Actually, you would get stopped every five seconds. People would be telling you how good you looked. <laughs> that would be such a smart outfit. So good. Love it. Okay. 
Next up, we've got, and I'm going to pull this out because Rayon Chalet, Rayon Jersey. How cool is that to be able to compare? Neat, huh? I don't know. Is there anything that you can do that would combine knit and woven? That would be fun. Maybe they're not the exact same. The back of this has some like water droplet marbleized situation and the back of this is more like hair. Um, but it's just so fun to have them side by side like this. So yeah, there's your rayon jersey. It's got stretch to it, super soft, super lightweight like we've discussed throughout the video. 13997 on this. So good. I didn't even really realize we are in like black, white, and gray territory. All right, this is Slub Texture Houndstooth Suiting in Charcoal. <laughs> so Slub Texture is what all these little like, it almost looks like the threads are coming out the right side. You know, I mean, they are. That's what's happening. Normally you don't pick at them like that either. <laughs> I was just trying to illustrate what was happening. But the back side is very smooth. And the front and the back look a lot alike too. Um, very soft, but this is also pretty lightweight for a suiting. Not as lightweight as this one was, but very close, very close. So all the same similar things I said about this one, you could do with this one. You know, your Banana Republic, your Ann Taylor, your dresses, your fitted dresses, your suits, your, I mean, your blazers even you could do, but I really feel like these lightweight ones are really suited for dresses, no pun intended. Oh, did I give you the number on that? It is 14090. All right, this is a good one. So it's another one of our flannel shirtings. This is called Autumn Plaid in Charcoal and Pumpkin. I mean, gray and orange, okay. Cute. Nothing else was quite as orange as this, right? I mean, I don't think that these are gonna work. I mean, I don't hate that. None of them are exact. I'll just leave it at that. Um, but yeah, like I've said about all the other ones, super soft, lightweight, stills a little bit structured. Um, again, these don't have to just be shirts, even though it says shirting. It doesn't just have to be a shirt. You can also make dresses. You can also make, um, I mean, I'm trying to think, like an elasticized waisted pant. Would that work? I've never seen that before. Flannel, I feel like flannel pants are really an indoor situation. Am I right? Like if you wore flannel pants out in public would people think you were out in your pajamas I think they would I I feel like okay I'm gonna say no to the pants so that I can't be held responsible if someone thinks that you left in your pajamas when they're not pajamas they're real pants but we will go with lovely dresses and lovely tops okay um 14084 on that this one is hounds tooth plaid stretch bottom weight in taupe and black. That's pretty. Hounds tooth plaid reminds me of this hounds tooth plaid. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same. They're the same. So if you were afraid of like the orangey color, this one's much more up toned down. And it is 14086. Yeah, especially because the numbers are right next to each other. Okay, this is mini houndstooth suiting in black and cream. I've never seen so many suitings in one collection. This is exciting. This is very exciting. I love a suiting. Um, this one has absolutely no stretch, like none. And it's also a little bit dizzying, so don't look too close. Um, 14087 is the number on this. Have we had a non-stretch yet? Is it this? That's brushed. So maybe not, um, but I feel like maybe, I don't know. Obviously has like no drape whatsoever. It's like 
not cardboard, but that's that's a bad way to say it, but it's just very stiff and structured. Um, no stretch, so you have to be very good at tailoring, um, but it could be a fun, fun project. It would make a great blazer, a great dress, pencil pants. I, the only reason I say pencil pants and not other kinds of pants is because when it's this structured, then the wider the pant leg, it's just gonna stick straight out. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just be mindful of that, I guess. Okay, this, did I give you the number? 14087? Um, this is the same as this and its other friend that I can't remember, but the Jersey French Terry, but this one is black and vanilla. Ebony and ivory, cookies and cream. One, four, one three eight four two on the black and cream one. This is digital print again with that like bursting, like popping off the back. Um, artistic floral rayon jersey in black. And remember, I told you about the moody florals again. With we're here. This is the moody floral. This is it. Um, and it has that great magenta color. Finally, something that we can pair with our stretch. That's not, oh yeah, it is. Um, our stretch suede. How good does that look? That's exciting. I love a pop of color. So, so, so good. So good. Um, but this is rayon jersey. So again, lightweight, drapey. Yep, kind of feels like your standard rayon jersey, not anything noteworthy standing out in terms of weight or structure or anything. It's good. It's a good one. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I love the print too. Moody floral, mark my words. Okay, this is the stretch suede in black. 14101. Did I? I keep forgetting the numbers. 14111. 14111 on this one. Okay, so the stretch suede in black and distressed vintage floral rayon crepe. Vintage floral rayon crepe in black and mustard, and this is very textured. So some of the other ones I've been telling you are like so smooth for a crepe, but this is very, very textured. It almost has like a, like a stripe, like a textured stripe going through it. How good are these colors? Oh my gosh, that like, I don't know, periwinkle, I guess, and mustard together, oh. I died for that color. So, so good. I don't even think any of our solids are going to do this justice. I had the half the thought that this looked good together. Um, yeah, no, I don't really see anything else, but golly, this blue, like, that blue is stunning. That's such a pretty color. Here it is. It's black background, but you can still wear a navy jacket with it if you wanted. Or here's the rib knit. Oops. Hmm. No, I don't really like that. Oh, you know what? You know what it is? It's this one, obviously. Duh. That's that's the cardigan, if you need a cardigan. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really pretty. Okay, and it's very soft, too. Very soft. Which one? Distressed Vintage. I love that. Distressed Vintage. That's so good. Perfect little dress. Um, not nearly as drapey as this one. You know, can you see? Um, so not as many ruffles and flounces, but you could definitely go like lightweight drapey with this for sure. 14075. Um, next we have 
plaid printed ponty knit in charcoal and hunter green hunter green that's a lot like emerald let's see what this looks like that's cute oh now that is cute this that makes it seem so much more like school like prep school and that is also very much on trend still like imagine a fitted dress in this and then a little jacket over it so cute one four one zero three it's your kind of typical good ponty right weight not too lightweight not too heavyweight I love the emerald in there it's so subtle or what you call it hunter so subtle but so good next we have digital print watercolor floral rayon jersey in black and purple moody floral the purple is so good we haven't had much to pair with this little guy and that's it's still not right this is more like orchid and this is more eggplant needless to say though still a great little print the digital print just pops off the background like i've been saying it is the rayon jersey so this is a thinner lighter rayon jersey than some of the ones as of recently at least you can see how much more lightweight it is let me find one of those where was the friend to this this one so this is these are both jerseys and can you see the difference it's subtle it's not like you know this next to a ponty but you can tell whenever you're feel when you're holding them in each hand one definitely feels lighter weight and it's just thinner you know it's like more liquidy i guess is another way to look at it feels good one four one one seven on that pretty okay then we have herringbone suiting again this one in charcoal that's nice so this feels like shoot does it feel like the lighter weight one we've had so many great suitings what was the one that i said that needed to be addressed was it this yeah and it's not as soft like this is definitely softer than this is this might have some wool in it or something and that's the reason why um not necessarily a bad thing at all yeah again i need like 45 blazers basically what's happening is i'm gonna make a bunch of blazers yeah not nearly as drapey but still very lightweight which is nice i, I speaking for myself because i live in the carolinas in north carolina where we don't really need like full-on wool suits um this we've already seen actually this is a repeat of that distressed ponty knit so i'm not going to repeat that one at all and then lastly we end on this mini stripe bamboo jersey in black and charcoal which we've also reviewed a couple of times as well there was a green one remember um i've got a very large pile over here so i may not find it oh this this and then there was another one too i can't remember what maybe it was purple wasn't it purple mm, yeah it was purple but i can't find it anyway so this is the same as as these other ones so just in the black and gray family 13991 if you wanted to get yourself a black one of those and you guys that is it we are at gosh only like an hour and 45 minutes so i'm getting better i'm getting more organized and more efficient at explaining all of them but we have so many good fabrics i mean i'm calling out these three here because i feel like 
Oh, but this one was so good too. I had a lot of favorites, you guys, a lot of favorites, which is an oxymoron because a favorite needs to just be one, but there were a lot of really, really good fabrics in this collection. Um, oh, I almost forgot about the Bulldogs. Yeah, so many good ones. Interesting point though, the fabrics, plural, that I'm using for my uh, stop on the style tour were not in this batch. All right, sorry about that. My battery died. Thankfully though, it was at the very end. Um, anyways, to see what I made um, from the fabrics that I was gifted, um, you know that that green suede is um, gonna be a jacket. The other fabrics are not in this mix, but to see all of that, you can come back here next Monday, like a week from tomorrow, and I will be showing you what I made. In the meantime, though, there's going to be a ton of other bloggers who are going to be posting their makes all week long and even the week after mine. Um, it's a two week long style tour. So uh, there's a lot to be seen and we can kind of take some of these concepts that I was talking to you guys about about feeling the fabrics and you know knowing kind of what they could be applied to and what kind of garments they would look good as. Um, you'll get to see that kind of come to life as these garments are, as these fabrics are turned into garments. It's really cool. But um, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.